today I've come up with a beautiful theme which is kind which which talks about kindness uh uh we shall in this theme we're going to know I mean we are going to learn and and and, and know that we should show kindness to our families uh friends uh the people that God makes us meet in our paths of life um, the people we work with co-workers the people we find in our way I mean the strangers the street kids the orphans the vulnerable people so uh today I have a beautiful verse ah, before we go to the verse uh if I'm to define kindness kindness is that as should two people that is loving caring respectful unconditional and uh okay anything that is good to people that is kindness uh opposite uh, unkindness is that attitude to people that is disrespectful and uh, uh, that is non loving uh uncaring so that is the that is the unkindness uh but as Christians we should always be kind and and we should always be famous of being kind and uh in we shall see a verse where where Paul wrote and, and, and said that all Christians should be popular of their kindness so that means God wants us to be kind let us be known of our kindness so let me let me let me just share with you uh this this beautiful verse it is first Corinthians Corinthians 13 for uh first Corinthians talks about first Corinthians 13 for talks about love talks about how 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 love is kind so this means you can be you can be loving without kind so then that, that that simply means love and kindness they are two twins and without any without any there is none so in order to have love you should be kind in order to have kind or to be kind you should be loving so that is first corinthians 13 4 and remember for um corinthians uh this letter was wrote by 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 paul and i hope we all know paul if you don't know about paul and if i'm to make a hint about his story he was uh he was he was not among the 12 disciples of god but after i mean jesus but after jesus is dead paul came into to serve or to do god to do jesus's works uh but still he was sent by god remember he was going he was he was in, during jesus's life paul was <coughs> paul was a huge enemy of christianity and jesus uh paul could fight jesus's disciples still he could def- he could fight gospel but god god sent him remember that verse god sent him uh, he saw a light and that was god god sent him to do to do to do god is god is his works god is works and still still he did it and like that, that remember okay that that is a that is a that is a long story and i think i'll talk about uh, i'll talk about pause Paul's life and then there is there is a big there is a big lessons and, and, and examples to to receive from his story so let us see another 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 verse that is Ephesians 432 so Ephesians 432 talks about it says be kind uh you should be okay talks about being kind and forgiving just like jesus just like jesus forgave us remember god, jesus forgave us i mean god forgave us he sent his only son to 
who died for our sins that is simply forgiving us i mean forgiving our sins and so ephesians 4 32 talks about it but still it talks about kind being kind you can't forgive your you can't forgive someone who has long drew without being kind that is pretense if you say that i've forgiven you without first embracing kindness that is pre- pretense and you should first embrace kindness and then forgive that is ephesians 4 32 so uh, um, I'm, I'm going to talk about i'm going to talk i'm going to give you an example in one of Paul's letters he said we should be kind we should we should have that kind i mean we should clothe ourselves with kindness this means just like we we, we can't forget putting on clothes whenever we are going. Um, if you can put on clothes, even if you 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 are in your own house, that means our clothes are some essential things. So you should you should put on kindness, just like you put on clothes. Uh, kindness should be near your body. Kindness should be near you. So that was seen in. This beautiful, this beautiful verse that is Colossians three twelve. It says, "As God is chosen people, holy and dear, loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience." So, as God is people, you should just like I've explained it earlier. We should clothe. We should clothe ourselves with kindness, and of course, it is you. You. I just want you to imagine how beautiful it would be if we first we first we first produce kindness before doing anything else. So that is what what that is the kindness that God wants us to to have. Uh, I've I've just come along with a lot of a lot of Bible verses that will teach us you know what kindness is. And before I end this video, I'll, 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 I'll share with you on how we can practically begin being kind. So, if if you can, if you if you want to practically start being kind, or if you if I'm to, um, if I'm talking being kind, being uh, kindness, and you don't know, I mean, you don't you don't know what it is. I'm going to tell you how you can start being kind, and some little things you can start with. To be kind so let me share with you this this beautiful verse again uh, galatians 5 22 uh, this one talks about uh fruit it talks about the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness faithful gentleness uh, the fruit of the holy the spirit is spirit the spirit is love joy, patience, uh, kindness, faithfulness, uh, gentleness. We all have the Holy Spirit in us and it's the Holy Spirit that is that makes us is that that, that makes us be like Jesus because we are all as as God's people we are all trying to be like God like Jesus uh, Christ like uh, uh, moving in Jesus's Parts, whatever he did, then you do it. But still, it is the Holy Spirit that helps us do it. But we should, the, in order for the Holy Spirit to make us be like Jesus, I mean, do whatever Jesus did, uh, moving in Jesus' life, we should embrace the, we should embrace the the kindness, uh, patience, uh, then gentleness, faithfulness joy and peace in our lives ah this is this is some something that is this is something that is not hard to do i'll give you an example uh in my life i first i embraced kindness to take over me by by remember remember uh, kindness is not a feeling kindness is 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 expressed by doing something to other people. Uh, whenever, whenever, whenever you do something good to other people, that is kindness. You cannot say that I feel I'm kind. No, 
that is that is I don't know how I can say it, but if you can, if you know it is how, how, how it is defined, you can say it. I mean, you can put it in the comment section. But that is not kindness. Kindness is something is expressed by doing something good to another pe- another person. Uh, uh, it is of no good use to wait for the big one act of kindness and missing and you miss the small the many small acts of kindness uh, uh, what do i mean by that i mean you can start you can start by doing small things in people's lives a small good kind act in people's lives than waiting for the one big kind act in big it uh, in in someone's lives uh, but you should you should you should remember that being kind doesn't mean doesn't 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 require you to 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 have lots of i mean uh having lots of money uh having lots of food uh to supply it to people uh no like kind kindness simply simply requires that 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 unqualifying i'm talking about that unqualifying kind that pure kind uh, before i forget let me share with you these four thoughts uh how to be kind uh, how to begin being kind uh, the first one is the first one is kindness begins by recognizing that every every person you come in contact with has a value in God's eyes. So if you put it that in your mind that anyone that you get into contact with has a great value in God's eyes, that is enough for you to be in contact. Just putting it in your mind that anyone you find, uh, regardless of of his or her appearance, regardless of his or her appearance, I mean, I mean status, but if you if, if you put it in your mind that anyone i find or anyone that i get into contact with has a great value into god's eyes that is one step to be kind so you can't you can't mistreat you can't be mean to someone that you you know it in your mind that has a great value into god's eyes you can you can you can be you can be lord you can be respectful disrespectful to such a person uh, that is that is one thing that that is one practical thought or thing you can use in li- in your life to be kind so the next the next one is uh, the next thought on how to be kind on how to start being kind is is if we recognize that everyone we come or anyone we get into contact with is going through something difficult uh, if we recognize that everyone we meet has that one has that one bad side has some, some something that is eating him or her up something that is difficult in their life then we should be able to be kind to such people. Uh, there, there, there is another thought is simply not people. Uh, one person, uh, there is my pastor always tells me that you can't imagine how beautiful and 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 how you can make someone feel joy if you not see him by name. Okay, you might not not see them by name, but may, not not see them. Uh, maybe because me, I always, I always, whenever um, I love kids and mostly the the, the orphans. Um, at my orphanage, I really love orphans. And before preaching this gospel to to the social media or this this to the phone, I first preach it to the kids. Uh, but whenever I find orphans that I'm unable to take care of, uh, I make sure that I 
I, I, I get into contact with them. I, 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 I start a conversation with them. Then I get to know their names. And if and when they tell me their names, I cannot, I, I will never forget that name. So I, I, I used to go meet them, uh, say some encouraging words to them, tell them, uh, don't worry, one day I'll be able to come for you. One day someone will come for you. Never lose hope, never use drugs, never uh, such things. Then they, 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 before they told me their names. But okay, there a week, a week passed then. A week passed then, I went back. Uh, remember, I, I, told, I told them my name too, but they could remember the face, but they could not remember my name. Uh, they got so surprised when I called them by names. So, that made them feel joy, that made them feel vulnerable, that made them, that made them so happy calling them, okay, to make them feel like they, they exist, to make them feel like they are people. So, noticing people by name, that kindness, it's the kindness I'm talking about that is, that is small, but it 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 puts an impact into people's lives uh, so this 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 was this was i'm trying to give you an example I've, I've been giving you an example of that of how how you can notice people uh how you can notice people it is you've not given them money you've not given them what but you've made them feel valuable that is that is that is not seeing people and that is one that is another way that you can begin being kind so the fourth way the fourth thought i think you can you can show your kindness or you can start practicing kindness is it is uh you can show your kindness by expressing it to people do something for them do something for them. However little it is, do something for them. Uh, whenever I could, I'm trying to give you some examples of my life because there are some, I'm trying to give you some practical examples of my life. Uh, I was on the streets, I was in the streets, then, then there was a pastor that got me out of the streets. Uh, but he, I never knew him, he never knew me, he just came to preach his gospel, then he got him out of the, the, out of the, out of the streets, so, but do you know how, do you know, do you know how that can, do you know how that made my life fail, do you know what he did in my life? And it's the same thing that I did to other kids, but do you know how it changed their lives? So, some those little li, th those little little things that we do in people's lives, uh, it is what we call kindness. And remember, in the beginning, I told you you cannot you cannot be kind by feeling it, uh, but you will always be kind by 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 making it by by doing it. So. Do something small when you, whenever you're going to 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 maybe job maybe anywhere, just get some some little cents, some little coins. Then start giving them to the to the needed people. Start giving them to the orphans. Start doing the start doing uh, some, some some things to the people, even if they are not needy. Uh, if they are our kids, even if they are our friends, doing do, do those simple simple things. And that is what Paul talks about, that we should be defined by our kindness. And Jesus requires us to be famous of our kindness. Uh, believers of God should always be defined by their kindness. So, and being kind people, uh, doing something for other people, it doesn't take anything off of us. Doesn't doesn't take away anything from you. It just makes us feel peace there is no way uh, a believers of God we shall feel
feel peace in our hearts, uh, natural peace, pure peace without binding. So, if you want to feel peace in your heart, uh, feel joy, uh, pure joy, just be kind to people, just be, you can't imagine how peaceful it feels to help people, to do something in people's lives. You just don't know how, uh, you just don't know how it feels. Mm. Whenever I get some donations for 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 the orphanage for the kids in my orphanage, I I always get some money of that of that donations. Then I give them to 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 other kids that I'm unable to bring into the orphanage. But that's how I feel joy, and whenever I do it. I really feel my heart is pure. It makes me it makes me feel joy and it just makes me feel total joy and it's enough for me. It's enough it's more than getting riches, it's more than getting getting cause it's that, those things, those small things, uh, those small kind things we do, they are never perishable. But riches like various things we own in life they are always perishable they you will have it today tomorrow it will go to be destroyed it will be taken but the kindness you did the 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 and the, that uh, that impact you put in people in someone's life we never perish we never be destroyed it will always stay at heart it will always be remembered by God and other people. So that is what I call and that is what Paul requires us to do. Being famous of our being famous of our kindness. Uh, being known by kindness.